Hello and welcome to this YouTube channel for ACCA FR exam prep. My name is Adam. In this video, I will be taking you through how we do the reconciliation for current account balances with goods in transit. Now let's look at this example. This is a past question, so I've made an extra from the past question. So let's see the details. The summarized statement of financial position. So of two companies as at the first March X six. So we have Dident and Lottery. So we have inventory, trade receivable, current liabilities. The additional information. The inventory of Lottery Pro includes goods bought from Dident Co. for 2.1. Dident Co. applies a consistent markup on cost of 40%. So there should be unrealized profit. So the PURP here should be 2. So let me do it 2 100 times 40 over 140. So let's check that. And that should be part of your working. So 2 100 times 40 divided by 140. So you change it to margin. And that should be 600. Now, on 28 March X6, Dijon Co. dispatched goods to Lottery with a selling price of 700. These were not received by Lottery until after the year end. So this is goods in transit. And so have not been included in the above inventory. So it means that they have to be added to the inventory. Now, at 31st March X6, Dijon Coast Records showed a receivable due from Lottery 3 million. This deferred to the equivalent payable in Lottery's records due to goods in transit. The intragroup reconciliation should be achieved by assuming that Lottery had received the goods in. In transit before the year end so if we are to assume that that means the payable for lottery will change and that should be two point because if you take away these goods in transit from this you are having uh, 2.3 million and if you are to assume they receive it then we have to add the 700 and that would give us 3 million back. But as you are aware, this is an intragroup activity. We have to eliminate it. So let's see how we do the reconciliation. So uh, extract extract from the consolidated financial position statement. So I want to look at current assets. And assuming that we have all of these in thousands, so if i have my current asset i'll take inventory so inventory so we are consolidating is uh 1,400, 800 so 19400 plus 18800 we know that there is goods in transit and then also there's unrealized profit. So I'll bring in the trade receivable so that we can do that adjustment. So trade receivable. So here the figure is 14700 to 500. So 14700 plus uh, that is 12500. 12500. So 12500. And we have to deduct the intragroup. So the 3 million should go out. Then when we go to current liabilities, we have an aggregated figure there. So we have 24, 16, 400. So 24 plus 16, 400. So uh, just a bit of note here. So if this were my workings, 
I would say that for the intragroup or for the current account balances, I will debit and credit. So I will debit the uh, liabilities or the payables 3,000 because we were to assume that they had received it. So the total amount will be 3 million. So, and our credit receivable, 3 million. So if this were my workings one, so I'll put here workings one, and I'll come here again and say workings number one. Now, because we had boost in transit, the adjustment is that we will debit the group inventory with the amount which was uh, 700 so and the adjustment ideally would be to sort of uh, increase the value and credit the liability so let's see credit the liability 700 and crediting liability here means that we'll add 700 also working is one let me drop it down let me drop it here plus 700 also working is one and come here and say plus 700 working is one goes in transit then finally my working is two can be the unrealized profit the unrealized profit there will be two the first one is the inventory of 2.1 and that would be 2 100 times 40 over 140 and that we had 600 earlier and then number two would be the goods in transit we have to find the unrealized profit on this and take it out and that would be 700 times the same margin 40 over 140 and let's see so 700 times 40 divided by 140 that is 200. So the total unrealized profit is 800. And this should be taken from the inventory. So when we come to the inventory, we say minus 800. And this is what is two. Now, you would ask, what will be the corresponding for the uh, unrealized profit? It will be in retained earnings. So against the retained earnings, Which because we are not we are not having the figure, it will be to deduct. So it will be less if we are consolidating the value maybe uh, in workings five, or less eight hundred. And note that this is workings two before the final figure will be given. So on the basis of this, this will be the adjustment. So you have to add and bring the various totals in your calculation. So the adjustment we have done here, note that we have taken the analyzed profit from the inventory and also from the group retained earnings. So the double entry is that we debit the uh, group retained earnings and we credit inventory. For the intra-group, we take the total amount from the receivable, same amount from the carrying liability, which is the payable. And also for the goods in transit, the same amount, which is the total amount, Without the unrealized profit, the total amount 700 would be added to the group inventory, and then the same amount will be added to the liability side. And this will be the adjustment for the intra group current account where we have the goods in transit as an adjustment. I hope this helps in your preparation for the exam. Please subscribe to this channel to receive updates on new videos.